Hi guys, it's Tiana from Picky. I'm gonna be taking you guys on a little skincare vlog with me. I'm going to be using seven different sheet masks for the next seven days to see how my skin improves over the next week. First, I'm putting my hair up. We can't forget about the cookie headband from BT21. Then I'm gonna go into some double cleansing. So I have oily slash acne prone skin. I think my skin is going to like having this many hydrating products placed on it all at once. Just for today, I'm gonna skip the toner altogether and I'm gonna go with this mask. This one that I'm currently using is the Sisyphal Calming Mask by Be Plain. So right away when I took it out of the packaging, I noticed that it had a lot of essence and just product on it. And so I squeezed some of it out just because I didn't want to use too much product on my skin. This is one of the first times in a long time that I'm using a sheet mask. And I could tell that it was definitely very calming and hydrating for my face. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to go with the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella water gel sheet ampoule mask i could be saying that wrong with pure centella from madagascar it's like it's supposed to calm and boost ampoule in your skin so i've been wanting to try this for the longest time but right now i use like their light cleansing oil um and it's from the same line and so i'm actually very excited to see how this works out for my skin <laughs> Once again, I'm squeezing out some of the excess product back into the packaging. Now we're headed on to day three. Honestly, I can definitely see that my skin is becoming a lot more hydrated and it's brightening up a lot more. For this day, I decided to go with the Underpore Mask Pack by Pcom. Also, since there's so much excess product left in the packaging, you can always pat the rest of it onto your arms or your neck. I decided to try a new method today where I let the mask dry up on my skin and then I take it off. Um, and in this case, I accidentally fell asleep in it, but that's okay. I actually like this method a lot better because it really feels like my skin soaked up all the product. hyaluronic acid as well as panthenol. I hope I'm saying these ingredients right. I know what they're for, but I just struggle with the pronunciation sometimes. Hyaluronic acid and panthenol. Oh, this one smells really good. It smells like trees. Finally, we have reached day five of doing the sheet mask. I actually forgot to do it the night before, and so right now I am putting on a quick mask before I go to work. I actually really like the fit of this mask by Afilo in particular because I feel like I didn't have to adjust it as much compared to all the other sheet masks. I literally just had to plop it on and it was done. On day six, I decided to use a sheet mask by the brand Thank You Farmer. And then finally, on to day seven, I decided to use another sheet mask, a different one this time, but from the same brand called Afilo. Once again, I'm patting all the excess product onto my arms and my neck. Here's a little montage of me doing work while I wait for my sheet mask to dry, but just some final thoughts on this video. I think that previously I was definitely a little bit skeptical as to whether it's a good idea to apply a sheet mask every single day because I do have oily and acne prone skin. However, I realized that these sheet masks are super duper hydrating, which is what they're supposed to do. And on top of that, I definitely think that it balanced out the pH on my skin so that it didn't create as much oil as it did throughout the day. And so would I do this challenge again? Yes, I think from now on I'm going to keep on buying these Korean sheet masks. I definitely think that it is worth the time and money and I'm definitely going to be doing this a lot more in the future. Thanks for watching!